<laughs> Hello. Christmas is a very important time of year. And it's during this time that we like to think about all the things that we give and receive to other people and about important things in our lives and we cherish them. So this year I'd like to share with you uh, something that's very important to me and uh, this is a copy of The Night Before Christmas that uh, I had when I was very very young. Um, but when I opened it up this year a Christmas miracle had happened and I want to share it with all of you out there in YouTube land. So let's see what happens when we open the book, shall we? was the night before Pygmus, when all through the complex not a plectrum was stirring, not even a tortex. The stockings were hung by the chimney with flare, in hopes that St. Piccolus soon would be there. And Mama with her Clayton, and I with my rap, had just set up our strings for a long winter slap, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang open my toolbox. Altex doesn't shatter. The grip on the face of the new Dunlop flow gave a boost to the mid-range of plectrums below. When what to my wondering ears should appear but a biblical downstroke so bell-like and clear with a bulging fat thump so pervasive and thick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Pick. More rapid than mid-tech his forces they came and he squealed, and he jaunted, and called them by name. Now Zufoy, now Rombo, now Windspear and Chicken. On Sweeney, on Fellow, on Pigtrum and Wagon. To the top of the chart, to the gig down the hall. Now thrash away, thrash away, thrash away all. As leaves the before Neil Young's hurricane fly. When your song hits an obstacle, use the blue sky. So up to the sound check, the tone birds they flew with a sleigh full of throat, and St. Piccolus too. And after some tinkering I heard with elation the shimmering poise of correct intonation. As I fired up my amp and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a pound. He was dressed in Delrin from his hand to his foot, and his clothes were all sponsored for buff tonal loot. A bevy of plectrums fell out of his sack, and he shook calipers for their thickness to track. His highs, how they sparkled, his lows were so merry. He imparted his favourite band was Buckcherry, which I found a little surprising given the record I put, but there we are. His scatterwound coils were high output, not low, and the length of his beard showed his riffs were quite slow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had broad vibrato and it shook just like jelly as he'd slung a B5 up the front of his telly. He was chubby and plump with his licks and rude health and I laughed at his sweeping in spite of myself. A sliver of careful melodious thread soon gave way to some lean hardened shredding instead. He spoke not a word, his guitar did the work and he bent up his final sharp pinch with a jerk. Then laying down one massive scrape like the pros and giving a nod up the chimney he rose he had come just to slay and his team gave a holler you can purchase a jazz 3xl for a dollar but i heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight hail the whole plectroverse because your tone is so tight merry christmas everyone